Good morning, folks. We've got several things to hit today. Earthquakes, weather warnings, galactic outbursts, Voyager, clouds, and volcanoes. But we also have space weather to report, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Several more M-class solar flares erupted and did so as the sunspot count has surged over 280. This is the most sunspot production we've had so far this cycle, and from yesterday's outburst, it is possible one or two cent minor plasma intensifications our way within the solar wind. While they are likely to be minor, the flaring uptick is expected to continue as the active regions are so numerous with new development over the last 24 hours. You can see those flare flashes here in the X-ray return of 131 angstroms with ambient brightness dimmed to highlight those flares. The sunspot number was already quite high, but we have growth and development of the southern incoming groups, which you will see here in the HMI images. Lots of spots, and then bottom left, those two regions are growing fairly rapidly. We'll be keeping an eye on those today. Hey, Taiwan, you guys all right over there? Two six-pointers topped out the chart of a swarm of seismic activity with more than 40 quakes registered over the last day. Hopefully, it is just a swarm and not four shocks. But remember, we are in an earthquake watch from the coronal holes facing Earth right now. Eyes open. Major storms are forecast in the central U.S. today, and it's driven by a wind collision. Convergence zone lit up white here on the convective potential energy as warm, moist air from the south slams into cooler, dry air from the north. Hail, tornadoes, and severe conditions are likely. Up first in the articles today is the heavy metal detection and wind blast from a galactic center. Between the central nucleus and stellar explosions in the interior region, they are learning that the outflowing material is even more dynamic and chemically diverse than they imagined. High outburst activity robs galaxies of the material needed to stay active and growing. Good one up next on Voyager. Its onboard computer stopped sending information several months ago, and while they have found a workaround, they have concluded that one of its chips finally failed. Observers have to wonder if this was due to its interaction with the galactic current sheet plasma. Excellent piece here in EOS on how low-level clouds disappear during a solar eclipse. This not only details the critical importance of the sun for cloud production, which we discussed just a couple days ago, but it means that the sun-blocking weather modification will work against itself, not be as effective as some believe. Evidence piling up in terms of not messing with the sky. Last but not least, good article on volcanic history on our planet and a warning about the rapid cooling power of big eruptions. They correctly mention the power of even a single massive eruption and it is the truth that one of them could reverse the atmospheric trends on Earth in just a matter of days. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.